The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everybody. Just before we start, I want to make sure you can hear me and see my screen. So if you can, type yes in the little chat box. Can you hear me and can you see my screen? Should be the title. All righty. We have yeses across the board, so we're going to start her up. Good afternoon, and I'm your host, Amy Boggs. Welcome to another edition of Traders Exclusive. Thank you for joining this webinar on how to become a self-starter trader. Check out our website, tradersexclusive.com. We post new content every day from video clips to articles, some of which could be very helpful to your trading, if not just darn entertaining. You will also find an archive of past webinars under Traders Education. Then go to Educational Webinars to the left side of that page and then down to Archive Trader Education Webinars. This is where you'll find today and all other previous webinars. So yes, today's webinar is being recorded. Um, before we introduce our first presenter, I have to mention, um, let's see, I have to mention, there's a disclaimer, options involve risk and are not suitable for all investors. Prior to buying or selling an option, a person must receive a copy of characteristics and risk of standardized option. Copies are available from your broker by calling 1-88-OPTIONS or from the Options Clearing Corporation here in Chicago, Illinois. So first up, Melissa Armo founded the Stock Swoosh LLC in December of 2012. The Stock Swoosh LLC is an educational firm that empowers traders with a complete and detailed system to become profitable traders. Melissa Armo graduated magnum cum laude from Gettysburg College with a BA in philosophy and a minor in Latin and political science in 1994. She was employed for several banks and brokers in Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and New York as a mortgage broker for 17 years. She changed careers from banking to pursue a security, security trading career in 2008. A self-taught day trader with over five years of experience, Melissa's specialty is a trading strategy that focuses on shorting stocks that gap. So without further ado, I'm going to give control over to Melissa Armo. Unmuted. Hello there. Can you hear me, everyone? Let me know if you can hear me, see my yes, screen. Okay, wonderful. Can you see the screen here? It's like a, a brown tannish color. Look good? Yep, we are. Wonderful. Welcome. Thanks so much, Traders Exclusive, for having me. Love presenting at Traders Exclusive webinars. I have a good group of people there, Dan, John, and Amy. So thanks so much for having me here today. Well, I'm going to talk today about making six figures a year trading the market in a strategy that takes place and sets up in only 30 minutes a day. For those of you that are interested in more information, you can feel free to reach out to me after the webinar. Uh, go to my website. It's www.thestockswoosh.com. And you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com as well. I own a company called The Stock Swish, as Amy said. I started it about two years ago, not quite two years ago, and I've been trading actually for six years. I tell you, time really flies when you start to trade the market. All of a sudden, years have gone by, and when you find something that you love to do for a career, uh, time can fly. So today we're going to talk about trading, and specifically people that maybe are not even trading at all. Or maybe you're trading right now, but their time is very limited. Like, are you a busy person? You want to trade or you are trying to trade right now, but you can't figure out how to juggle the time. And maybe you want to make extra cash, but your time is just so constricted every day. You have a full-time job, maybe you have a business, you're a very busy person, you have family. If you're looking for a strategy, we're going to talk about one today that sets up very quickly. Or maybe you just have a career you're tired of. You don't actually like your day job. And maybe you don't like working for someone else and you're looking for something else to do to make extra money. Well, trading is a good vehicle to make extra money and possibly something that could be a career for you if you really want to take it seriously. 
And also ask yourself, have you never traded before, never taken a trade in the market, never taken anything at all, and have absolutely no idea where to start? Well, we're going to talk about this today as well, a place to start and what to think about when you are starting out. And maybe you trade now, you've been doing it, maybe you're even a full-time trader, however, you're not making the money, money you want to make, or you're not making what I would call good money, meaning money that could support yourself. And obviously this varies from person to person. Today we're going to talk about making six figures a year. I think that's a good gauge because that is uh, typically what would be a salary for people that they could pay their bills with. And maybe also you're trading now, but you have absolutely no strategy. You're like, try to do this and try to do that. One day you're going long. One day you're going short. One day you're doing options. The next day you're doing buy setups. You don't, you don't know what to do. You have no strategy. You get in and you do and say, I love this thing. I have 100% conviction. I'm going to do this thing today. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you have to know what you're going to do when you get up in the morning before you trade. Because if you don't have a strategy and you're trading right now and you're risking money in the market, you need one. You have to have one. And if you walk away from anything, anything at all today from my lecture uh, or anything from this lecture today from anyone, know that if you decide that you want to trade the market, whatever you choose to do, whoever you choose to learn from, you need to have a strategy. Whether your goal is full-time income, part-time income, savings, wealth, or retirement, there is one common denominator, an ingredient that is necessary for lasting success in the market. And every trader needs a strategy, and that's what it is. It has to be real. It has to be good, meaning it has to work. It has to be reliable, meaning that it sets up on a regular basis, and it has to make sense. The strategy that I trade, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more, I consider a common sense strategy, meaning it makes sense. If I would go and talk to someone on the street that doesn't trade at all and never wants to trade or doesn't have any interest in trading and just explain to them what I do, they'd say, yeah, okay, yeah, I see that, I get it. It has to make sense, common sense. And really, it's about quality, not quantity in trading in the market. It's like if you would go and you want to get engaged. And uh, if you can afford to buy the best diamond in the world for the person that you love, the woman that you love, you would, you would want to find the highest quality diamond in the world that you could afford for this wonderful, gorgeous woman that you love. You really, really have to think like that when you're choosing what to trade in the stock market. There's thousands and hundreds of stocks you could pick to trade every day. There's so many different strategies out there. You have to have the focus. Making money, specifically this type of money, and six figures isn't chump change to make on an annual basis in the market. That's real money. And if you're going to do that, then you have to stay focused, and it's about quality. You know, it's funny because every day you get up and there's lots of things to do, but is there really? I mean, actually, if you pinpoint it down and you're really looking for quality, there's not that many. Usually I can hone down to two to three picks that I have each day. Even on days that I get up and there's hundreds of things to watch, how am I able to do that? Well, I have a method to pinpoint quality trades and quality picks. Okay, these are stocks that I would pick to hone in on that I say I like and I'm going to do today and I like today. Today, I looked at JDSU and Cree. Hone in right on them, they both worked. How was I able to do that? Of the hundreds of things that happened this morning, the hundreds of gaps, how am I able to pick the two that are good? Because I have a method to pinpoint quality trades. So I devised a method to examine the daily chart of a stock, and I determine what kind of move it will make in the day and in what direction, whether long or short. I qualify each stock pick, and if it rates per my 26-point rating system, this is what I do, I will watch it for a trade to set up on the day, like I did today in the cream. Highly rated stock symbols have quality entries, which means a good risk to reward. Many go to the target, which allows for maximum profit. And again, if you want to make this kind of money on an annual basis, you have to be looking for stocks to go to the target. Now, we're talking about them going quickly. Well, that often happens too. So the method that I designed, that I created myself, is called a 26-point checklist. It's the Golden Gap Rating System. This is what I do every day. Every day. I have a focus. This is what allows me to make good money in the market. It's what allows me also to get a momentum move very quickly into the open. What is that? It's from 9.30 to 10 o'clock. Uh, in fact, someone asked me, Dave, do you ever trade pre-market? I said, no, 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 I don't. Do I ever trade post-market? No, no, I don't. Okay, I have a very, very, very specific time that I'm looking to trade in that 30 minutes of the day. And, you know, if you're booked money and profitable by 10 o'clock, you could either take another trade if you want or you could just stop. But you have to be in the trade and profitable in that period of time. And also, you know if it was working. So my system is a professional bearish gap rating system. 
Now, what does that mean? It means I'm looking to do shorts many, many days. Every once in a blue moon, I'll do a long. Again, this is taking you to an even higher level of focus. For me, me personally, I like to do the shorts. And you know what the funny thing is? A lot of traders like to go long. You could flip the points in my system to use for bullish gaps, but I personally like to do shorts. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which stock is gapping to trade each morning and you use a checklist. The, the class that I teach and the method that I trade is a strategy that will help you sustain yourself in the market. It, you know, it's not like you're going to go in and all of a sudden be able to make six figures a year and then all of a sudden the next year not. If you can get to the point that you're making that kind of money trading in the market as a strategy, you should be able to consistently continue that and not only that, grow it, meaning make more the next year, the next year, the next year, the next year. Trading is about consistency and longevity. You have to get good at something in order to produce consistent results and have a longevity. And if you're putting all the time and energy into this thing, you want to be able to see that it has the, the long-term potential for you. And I'm just talking about even day trading. Whether you swing trade or core trade, day trading can have a long-term potential for you. I think day trading is one of those things out there. People think, gosh, how could I do this? How could I really do this for like for a long-term thing? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can because you know what? You're supposed to get better the longer you trade not worse. And you know what? It's a flip side for most people that are trading. A lot of people are trading. They, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really, it's kind of like an oxymoron. The longer people are trading, sometimes even if they're not making money or they're losing, they think that they know what to do, even though they're losing and they don't want to learn something new. But the fact is you got to take a step back and you got to realize if you're doing this for more than five years and you're not making money, you got to ask yourself why. You have to ask yourself why. You should be at a point after five years of trading that you know what to do. And the problem is a lot of people that are day trading, they think they know what to do. They're not making money, but they think they know everything that they should know to make money and they don't want to learn something else. You cannot invest five, six, seven, 10, 20 years of your life in somebody you're not seeing the results. You've got to produce consistent results. I'm not talking about in the first day or the first week, but you know, you're investing in something for years of your time and life. You could build a business, you could build a building in 10 years of your life. You got to think about what you're doing with your time. And you have to do something that is quality and where you're going to see results in a reasonable period of time. I'm saying reasonable, okay? So what ingredient do you need to be successful to make six figures a year trading? Focus, 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 focus. I get up in the morning, have coffee. That helps me get my caffeine. I get focused. What am I going to watch today? What am I going to do today? You've got to have that focus. In the end, you have to ask, you know, if you, this is for people that have been trading, that are around the block. Why are some traders successful and why are some not successful? Why? What's the difference? Are they just lucky? Why? Why? Because people that are successful take trading seriously. And part of that is the focus. Trading is a skill that can be mastered if you learn one specific strategy to trade. Making money in the market is not about quantity. It is about quality. It's not a function of luck. It is a function of skill. It is, a, it is a progression. It is a skill. And that's why as time goes on, you should be getting better, not at the same level or getting worse. And actually, people who think they know how to trade and are not making money after five, six, seven, eight, ten years are actually getting worse. They're actually falling back on the wagon or back off the hill. You have to learn the right methods and skills. And if you do, you can create your own luck. Many people do not take trading seriously enough. Many people don't. Uh, this is not something that you can just go, whoa, I'll just go to the market and I'll start taking a trade in this. No, you have to take it seriously. Now, those of you that are out there that do take it seriously, think about this. You know, are you allowing yourself a chance to be successful? Some people do it, they want to do something for a week. They want to do something for a couple of days. They want to do something for a month and they want to quit. You have to at least allow yourself a chance to be successful. You have to allow yourself to learn how to trade. Focus on one strategy. And not only that, learn a strategy that's consistent and you got to get one. And that's what I talked about earlier. You have to have a strategy. And many people actually think that they have a strategy too, but they don't. It's actually what is called a trade or a setup. And I'm going to show you some examples here in a minute of setups within the strategy, but the strategy is a golden gap that I trade. What I'm going to show you here is some trades. People say, well, I did this, I shorted this here, and I went to here to here. No, that's a trade. That's not a strategy. The trade is within the strategy. The strategy is the foundation for why you're doing this thing. The trade is inside of it. Cree was a golden gap today. It was a strategy. I shorted it, but I took the trade inside of itself, inside of the strategy, inside of the intraday chart. Okay, two different things. So what strategy can you trade and make money in? Golden gaps. Okay, this is what I'm going to talk about today, what I do. 
Gaps are a strategy that sets up in the market on a daily basis. They provide moves that happen quickly. In the morning, they usually finish quickly as well. Many gap trades set up and are done in the first half hour of the day or first hour of the day. And you can usually get 75% of the full day's move of the stock in the first 30 minutes, between 9.30 and 10. Now, sometimes they go longer and you would just be out of at least half the profit by 10-ish and then you'd follow the rest down to the bigger target or what I call the dream target. Gaps happen on a regular basis and they happen with momentum. This momentum provides the opportunity to trade to make six figures a year in profits. Now let's talk here about a gap. What is a gap? For those of you that know what a gap is, great. For those of you that don't, I'm going to explain it. A stock gaps when the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. That's it. That's what a gap is. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Now, there are many stocks that gap in any one given day. Here's an example of a gap. It's a break. So you have Groupon. This was last week. Groupon closed the night before up here. Closed up here around $7 and some change. It opened the next morning down here at $5 and 70 something, 78 or something or wherever it opened. So Groupon gapped down. This is a gap down, okay? That's what a gap is. And there's lots and lots and lots of these in the market every day to look at. And again, you have to find the good ones. You have to find a way to pinpoint, say, I want to watch Groupon today or Cree or whatever you want to watch. So, you know, to take the setup to make the money. Now, why do they work fast? Gaps work fast because there's a sense of urgency that's created in gaps. It is like a panic effort for shorts. Or if you were going long, it's like, I better buy this now or I'll miss it. It's an emergency effect for long. It's like, oh my gosh, if I don't buy this now, I'm going to miss it. I better buy it. Quickly, quickly, buy it, buy it. If I don't buy it now, it's going to go too high. I'm going to miss it. That's what happens in longs. And in shorts, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm down in this thing. What should I do? Crap. I better get out. Quick, quick, sell it, sell it. And it's a panic effort for the shorts. And actually, that's why I like shorts. Either way, something has to be done. And it has to be done now in the opening of the gap. And that is how people think of it. It's how people feel and think and the reaction to the price gap that makes it go fast into the open. And obviously, if you're in the trade and the stock's moving fast and you're in the right direction, you're going to make money. I mean, that's the beauty of trading gaps. And gaps are made by institutional money. They typically take positions on or off into the open. Again, that's the reason that gaps are so strong. And, and work so well. But there's so many in the market, how do you know what to watch? Because many stocks gap every day. The market gaps almost every day. The market gap today, the market gapped up today, the spies gapped up today, the QQQs gapped up today. I have no idea what they're doing right now, but when I looked at them last, they were rallying. My call day for the market was that it would hold. This market's holding bullishly and will make a new high. How do I know that? Because I'm reading the gaps in the market. So that's another good thing about gaps too. Uh, I don't typically trade the ETS, but you could use my method to rate gaps in ETFs like the market. Then you know what the market's going to do for direction. If you want to make good money, though, in the market, you have to be consistent with your strategy. This is the number, number one thing I want to get across today from everyone. Uh, and if you are consistent with something, you have a higher odds chance of making good money. If you're all over the board, uh, the chances of you having consistency are low odds. No strategy means no consistency. This is AFOB. We're going to look at this later. AFOB had a gap down. This is back here at the end of July. Nice bearish move in here. I did this one. But if you didn't have a strategy for this, you might have shorted this here and bought this here or bought this here. You wouldn't have known what to do in this chart. AFOB is actually a good short. This is actually a good longer term short. And you need to know when you're looking at something, what you're doing. Are you buying this or you're shorting this? You need to know what is going on in here. You have to have the strategy to have the consistency. And obviously the strategy has to work, but that goes without saying, okay? What I find, though, that a lot of people is, they say, well, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a long or short in here, whatever. You have to know what the strategy is. You're looking for the strategy. That's what tells you, yes, here, ooh, AFOP, I'm doing it today. And you short it if it rates good per the 26-point rating system. And this helps you stay consistent. And actually, I trade a different stock almost every day, which is funny. A lot of people like to trade the same stocks every day. There's no strategy there. There's no strategy if you do that. So you've got to have a plan of action to trade. In order to make six figures a year, you need a plan of action. You need a plan of action in place in order to be successful trading. You need a proven strategy and a system that works in order to make money trading. And you absolutely must follow this plan to achieve success. Another tip, you got to have a plan. What is your plan of action? What do you want to do? When do you want to get there? How much money do you want to make? How much time are you going to give this to you make six figures a year? You have to know. 
Why do most people fail or lose money when they're trading? Number one, they have no plan of action, period. They have no focus, huge. People have no focus. They have no strategy or play that they would do. They don't know how to take the trade. Maybe they do have a strategy, but they have no idea where to put the entry. They don't know where to put the stop. They don't know how to size themselves. They don't know how to look at the support or resistance. So then where's your risk to reward if you don't know how to do that? You're shorting it one minute, then killing it, then you're shorting it again, and you're killing it, then it goes on to work, okay? You've got to have the play, too. Also, a lot of people don't have any mentor. And I think it's important to have a mentor when you're trading. This is one of these things. If you have a second eye, someone that you trust, someone that you know knows how to trade and make money, and you believe in them and have conviction in them, you can follow that person, whether taking their calls or taking their trades or learning from them or all of the above. And number five, the number one reason why people lose money in the market is they do not have a system in place that works. They do not have a system that is specific enough, specialized enough, detailed enough, focused enough, and meaningful enough to the real trend of the stock. And I will say this, you know, my strategy is very detailed. It's very specialized. It's very specific. If I ever figure out a method that I'll have 50 points, I'll do it and teach it. In fact, someone was asking me today in the room, in the trading room, I, I said what I thought Cisco was going to do tonight in the gap. And Cisco hasn't gapped or done anything tonight by his earnings. And, and, he, and he asked me, why do you think it's going to do that? And I said, you know, I, I, instinct. I know how to reprice. The things I know how to teach, I teach in the class. The things that I am still evolving for myself to even get to a higher level with my own trading is taking me to the next level to be even more detailed and specified with myself. And as I find these things, I teach them to the people that I'm mentoring, that are trading with me. I think trading is one of the things when you trade day after day after day, you keep getting better. You just keep getting better. And I keep getting better. And the people who are following me are continuing to do well. There's a reason because I'm continuing to get better. Trading is something that over time you should be getting better and better and better and better and better. Not nowhere or worse, okay? And, you know, even though I teach a class, I train live in the market every day and run a live trading room, okay, for my students. And so because I train myself every day, I'm staying sharp on the market and everything I know and everything I do, and I'm getting better. So, you know, people say, well, why do you teach? Well, I teach because it's fun, and obviously I'm making money doing it, but it doesn't interfere with my trading, teaching, because I do the class on the weekends. But also, it's making me better. Everything I do, even the teaching, even the classes, everything I do, it's making me better. Even teaching people is making me better as a trading myself for myself to make money in trading. So it's one of these things where you have to actually be so honed down into what you do. You say, I'm an expert, or I want to be an expert. I want to get so focused and detailed on this thing that I'm the best that there is. And if you have that as your goal, you'll do well. Not only will you make six figures a year, you'll make millions of dollars someday. Because a lot of people just don't understand why you have to have one specific thing that you look at. Now we're going to look at Sandus. Sandus was a good gap that was back here in July. You can see the nice red bearish bar here in Sandus. Sandus got down, closed the night before up here at 107 something, came down here and gap down. This is a decent sized gap down. Gap down $7 overnight, closed the night before up here, boop, fell off a planet. Look at the nice short that Sandus had in the day. If you get up in the morning, and you know my rating system, you get up and you find Sandisk and you rate the gap and you go through the process. Boom, boom, boom. And you check it off. You see, is this, is this a good one today? Should I short Sandisk today or should I buy Sandisk today? And the system tells you. If it rates good as a short, you short it. Okay? Now, it did. And talking about the 30 minutes, look at the move that Sandisk had into the open. This is a one-minute chart, 9.30, 9.31, 9.32, 9.33. Here's a setup right in here in Sandisk at 934. Look at the move that the stock made into the open. This is what I call momentum. <laughs> and this is also institutional selling. Okay, this is actually selling. And they're shorting in here, but this is really pressure of selling in this chart that's happening here. There isn't one green bar, even anything, for 15, 20 minutes in the stock. It's selling, 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 it's pressure. It's institutional selling pressure that comes into this. And if you know how to do this, you can take a short in it. And as a trader, you're just, boop, you're shorting it and you're getting the move down in the short direction and you're making money shorting. Entry time in this play, this is a trade. Strategy is the golden gap. The stock pick is Sandus. This is the trade, okay? This is the call here. 9.34 a.m. is the setup. Price for the entry is 99.49. This is not a cheapy cheapy, okay? So you take the amount of position size you can afford, 
Risk is 31 cents. This is an advanced risk. If you took 2,000 shares of SanDisk, the exit down into the drop, there was not a green bar of a wit. Okay, until here, 94.50. This is what I would consider a dream target, by the way. Total profits almost $10,000. This is 16 times the risk made in profit. So that means for every dollar that you risk, you made 16 times because the risk in this was 620. Again, it happened in 30 minutes. Let's go back. Here you're entering. Stop. Boom. Okay. This is a short. Okay. And this is a gap. Here you can see up here with the stock closed the night before the clock's kind of hiding it. And it closed like at 107 something down here in the morning where it opened. Actually it opened right about 99-ish. Uh, no, it opened here. I'm sorry. 99.50. Dropped down here. Rallied up. Retested this area up here and held. Okay. So beautiful move. Again, this is an advanced risk. However, if you get good at doing something, you will make the money to build yourself up to have the buying power to do this to take the advanced risk. You have to learn what to do first. Even if you took half the risk in that, or a third of the risk in this, or a quarter of the risk in this, even if you only took a, a 500 shares in this, the stock fell off the planet, okay, and at a $5 move. That's beautiful. So whether you risked $1 or $600, it was a 16 hour trade. All from the strategy, which is the gap. Okay, to tell you that Sandus was good. Now let's look at rate per hour here. I like to compare this because, again, people are doing many different careers. For how many hours of work did you have to work to do this? If you did this trade, and again, whether you did the full advanced risk, an intermediate risk, or beginning risk, how many hours of work did you have to do? Well, you add, it, you add up the prep time. Because I get up in the morning, I start about 8.30. Okay, so one hour prep time. 30 minutes in the train. So one hour, 30 minutes of work. For less than two hours worth of work to make this kind of money, that's... It's fabulous, okay? What kind of job pays this kind of high rate per hour pay? Only specialized physicians, law firm partners, hedge fund managers, they make this kind of money. And CEOs would make this kind of rate per hour working. Now, will you get a trade like this every day? No. Will you get a couple trains each month that go to dream numbers? The answer is yes, okay? So you only need a couple really good trades to be able to actually make your month. And this is why I tell people, you got to learn what to do. you got to get up every morning and look for them. You never know when you're going to get the, the really good ones. You never know when something's going to go to the dream target. You set the targets. You have the targets. You watch it. The stock's still falling. You stay with it. Let it fall to the dream target. Okay? Kind of similar thing today like with the cream. So why train gaps at all? Because, just like I showed you in Sandus, stocks that gap have big moves on the day. That's huge if you're a day trader. You've got to have something that moves. Uh, you know, if something like moves five pennies, ten pennies, six pennies, I'm not a scalper. I, I don't, you can't make any money unless your R is like $1,500 an R. And, uh, you know, that's ridiculous. Stocks at Gap usually have their moves within the first 30 minutes of the trading day. Again, beautiful thing. Stocks at Gap have huge moves with small stops, which means you can make more money with less risk. Okay? You have to try to minimize the risk however you can. I do use hard stops. I know where to put the stop. The stop is in. It's in with a hard stop. Okay, stocks of gap have a chart precision also that is very unique in the market, and this precision will help you stay consistent. So you can achieve your goal of making six figures a year trading or any goal that you want to make trading. You have to make a plan of action. What do you want to do? Maybe you want to make 100 grand a year. Maybe you want to make 250 grand a year. Maybe you just want to make 50 grand a year and work part time and you'll be happy with that. And you like your day job. You have to still know where you're going, how much you're risking, and you still have to do something that is profitable. And the system that I teach is, is profitable. It's a complete system. Well, you don't need 100 strategies and plays to make money in the market. You only need one strategy, one play, which works. And actually, I've taken this to another level where I'm only actually doing shorts. So you could actually even get to the point where you say, I'm only going to do one directional bias. I'm so focused, I only do one directional bias. Every once in a while, I'll do a long, but it's rare, okay? Although you can use my system for going long if you want to flip it. If you can combine one strategy, one play, and do them extremely well, you can make six figures a year trading. And a few good trades, like I said, can really make your month. Now let's look at the AFOP here. This was one back from July. Here's the AFOP. Close the night before up here around 1650-ish. Open the next day around here around 13 something. It was under 14 bucks when it opened. Good bearish gap on AFOP. Liked it. Did it. Let's look at the play. Now this is set up a little differently. This is not exactly... Again, this is the trade. AFOP gap is the strategy. This is the trade, okay? 
AFOP open broke rallied up, okay? You could have taken it aggressively in here, or you could have done this setup in here. Either way, time of the day is what? Before 10 o'clock. Again, you're getting the move into 30 minutes. Setup happened in here a little bit after 9.40ish. Came all the way down into 10, 10.15ish, okay? Nice trade in the AFOP. Entry time is 9.41. Price is 14.05. Risk was 20 cents. So this was basically a buck. That's a, that's a move. And a $14 strike price stock to move a dollar is a move. That's a target. This went to the target. That's it. Boom. $13 or thereabouts, okay? Total profits, $28.50. That's a, that's a great trade, okay? A 4.75 times the amount risk was made in profit. Every time I take a trade, or I go to look at the targets and I see where the entry is, I'm trying to get three. Three, three, three. And you can see how you, how you can quickly get to that point of you making six figures a year, even if you only risk 300 bucks uh, a trade as the dollar for the sizing. 300 times three is $900. You get a couple thousand dollar days in there. You can see how you can add up to having a month where you're making eight, 10 grand a month. Okay, see how it adds up. And I'm talking about 300. I'm not even talking 600 here. I'm talking, this is intermediate risk at 300. But you can see how it can really add up, okay? So again, nice trade in here, almost five hours. Again, in and out in 30 minutes. Boom, on with your day. This is around 10, 10, 15 Eastern time. But I took the trade before 10. All right. Again, comparing, this is an average of $1,500 an hour, okay? Two hours worth of work, where are you going to make this kind of money? Where? And again, this is why you got to go back to what I was saying earlier. This is why you have to take trading seriously. Where on earth are you going to make this kind of money per hour? I mean, where? I mean, seriously. I, it's just, you know, you have to look at it that way. Just break it down. You're doing this work here to get to the point where you can learn and make this kind of money, it's worth it. That's why you have to take it seriously, okay? That's why you have to be patient with yourself while you're learning, but not so patient that you've waited ten, wasted 10 years of your life. I mean, that, that doesn't make sense to me, okay? Time is money. Your time is valuable. My time is valuable, and that's why I charge for my time when I teach the class, okay? My time is valuable. Your time is valuable. It is something that is important, all right? You have your family, you have your loved ones, you can go spend time with them. But you know what? You start making this kind of money, you can start to provide better for your family and loved ones. And think about your retirement as well. So who is the system for? Who? Anyone that wants to make money in the market. The time of the day that this sets up is, is fantastic, okay? It actually is good for people whether you live in the West Coast, the East Coast, whether you live in Europe or another country. The time of the day actually works and it's not that long of a time of the day that you have to sit in front of the computer screen. You know, as the as time goes on, the older you get, your eyes get tired and you're sitting in front of the screen for eight hours. I don't want to sit in front of a screen for eight hours. I just don't want to do it. I want to do my thing and make the money and be out. The longer you're in a trade, the more you're at risk as a day trader. But that's a fact, okay? So you allow yourself to get the move when the momentum comes in and the institutions are doing their buying and selling and you take the profit and you book it. Day trading is about booking money. You book it, you book it, you book it. People that like or need to make money also, this is good for. People that, that want to have a move quickly, 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 because gaps work fast. So to make six figures a year, you need a complete system. What is necessary for a complete trading system? The following components specifically and in their entirety. Number one, a strategy, which is the gap. Number two, a play, which is the setups. I just showed you some of them. Okay? I teach the plays in the class. And number three, a concept to give you an edge. This is something else that I that I teach in the class. I don't have time to talk about this today, but it's what I name my company. Uh, people always ask me, what is a stock swoosh? The stock swoosh is actually something that I figured out in the market that I teach in the class, and it's a concept that sets up as a certain trade. And it's a beautiful move, actually, the stock would make. That's a huge, huge, huge momentum move. And that's why I name my company the stock swoosh. It's a unique play that I created in the market that happens in only gaps. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Seminar. It's a two-day class on how to trade professional bearish gaps. The Golden Gap course is designed to help you strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. And again, you can flip the points if you want to, to do the longs. Uh, that's, you know, really up to you. Every once in a while, I see a long and I say, oh, you know, all right, let's just do this one too. But I really tend to do bearish ones, you know, most days. Now, I'm going to talk briefly here for a few minutes about something before I give some more information about the class here and then allow some time for questions. Uh, food for thought, okay? Most people in their trading are looking, look like this guy here, okay? Sometimes they look like this for a day when they're down and they feel like they're going to fall off a cliff 
and they're down money. Some people are like this for a period of weeks or months or years, and they're attempting to trade the market and they're losing money. Most people look like this guy here. This is not a happy person, and this is not a good way to live your life, okay? People that are successful in the market don't look like this guy here. And if they feel like this for a day, they get back on the wagon, and that's it, okay? People that are successful trading do not allow themselves to fall off cliffs for very long. Even if it's a day, they get back on the wagon, and they have a very good sense of what it takes to be successful. You do not want to trade and be stressed out. One of the things I like about trading is that I can take a trade and know right away if it's going to work or not. And even if I lose in the trade, it sets up and it fails. I'm out. Boop, that's it. Down one amount, and I look for something else to do. You know, don't let yourself get so stressed out that trading doesn't become fun for you anymore. Trading is fun for me. Making money is fun for me. If a trade doesn't work, that's it. It doesn't work. If you think it's too stressful to trade anymore, you have to take a step back and do some reevaluation for yourself and some mental conditioning because you do not want to go through life like this guy here. And I tell you, most people who are trading the market look like this guy. And it's, you know, you see that guy, you say, gosh, I don't even want to be friends with that guy. That guy would not even be fun to go out and have a drink with at night. I, I wouldn't even want to go out with that guy, okay? You want to be a happy, relaxed person. And so think about this. And you know what? If you're at a point where you don't know what to go, you don't know what to do, then you have to investigate some other things. You're not going to make money if you're stressed out like this guy. Who makes money in the market? This is a food for thought. People that are evolved. People that get it. Okay? People that understand. It's about making the connection. Money is energy. Okay? If your energy is more and more and more as I, as I, as I evolve, actually, I'm, I'm realizing more and more as I think something and I create it and it happens. Life is about energy. The connections you make, the people that you make, the, the way that I trade. The way that I trade when I see something, when I'm reading the price action of the stock, when I decide that I like it and I'm going to do it and I rate it and I say go for it, like create today. Other people liked other things today. There were other gaps today. There were other things to look at today and I decided to do the create. Why? It rated good. But I'm telling you, it's the energy. I'm reading the energy in the stock. I'm reading the energy in people that I choose to actually spend my time with. And the people that come to me and want to learn how to trade from me are making the connection that I have something to say that's valuable and worthwhile. And I'm going to teach them things like this, how to trade, how to make money. You have to be able to track this into your life. If you look like this, you are not going to track this. If this is how you get up in the day, you feel like this, you are not going to have this. Okay? It's about making the connection. You have to get the energy going in the right direction. And there has to be energy that's moving. You have to be moving. So many people will do the same thing for years, and it doesn't work when they're losing. Their energy is flat or dead or negative, okay? You have to get it moving. Now, this doesn't mean that sometimes you don't make a mistake and fall off the wagon for a day or two, but then you get right back up. It is all about energy. Money is about energy. It's people that are successful in the market, they get this. People that evolve get this. You want to get somewhere with your life. You want to make more money. You want to make six figures a year and only you have a part-time job. You have to understand that this is part of the whole thing. I don't want to say the word holistic because I think it gets overused. But, you know, this is like all the stuff that I teach. It has, it's all got to be there. Okay? It all has to be there together. Because people that are like this are not making this. Okay? So if you want a life with a personal freedom and a six-figure income, you need to make a plan. The Golden Gap course will teach you a strategy that will help sustain you in the market. And you need to be, you know, you need to have longevity if you want to keep doing this. And trading is about consistency and longevity. And if you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. So the Golden Gap course teaches you how to get consistent results here in training with one strategy, which is your daily focus. You get up every day. I'm going to look for these today, and I'm going to rate these today, and I'm going to do this today, and that's my day. Okay? It's kind of like a job except for you're done early and <laughs> you get paid a good pay rate. <laughs> so the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade, and it is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. Retakes are free. The class is August 23rd and 24th. It's not this weekend. It's next weekend from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class, the two-day class, is $29.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also teach another class, which is called a trends course. This is for long-term, how to read long-term trends and charts. This is in September, September 23rd and 24th from 12 to 4. Cost of this class is $9.99. Okay, this helps day traders a lot. It's really meant for swing and core traders, but can add to day traders trading better and making more. I also teach a trading psychology class 
called the Wealth Manifestation Course. This class is actually tomorrow, but if you sign up for it and want to sign up for it, you can do the next one. It's August 14th from 12 to 3. Cost of this class is $3.99. It is a trading psychology course on how to manifest wealth in your trading and your life. I don't talk about charts. I don't talk about gaps. I talk about money and your mind and your brain in this class. It is an enlightening class. People are allowed to redo it. I have a lot of people that redo this class almost every time I do it uh, that are trading with me because it really helps give you a leg up to get you on the right path or to keep you on that path. You know, we all need these types of things for our mental conditioning. We need that. We need that support system. Look at the world. You turn on the news and you look what's happening in this world. It's crazy, okay? It's a crazy world we live in right now. Everything you can do to keep yourself on track of where you want to go and what you want to do and a good frame of mind helps you because you want to stay on that path and evolve, okay, so that you can survive in an ever-changing crazy world. And you got to be aware of that. You have to be in discernment with the things that you say, the people that you go to, the people that you learn from, and the people that you communicate with, okay? Now, one last thing here. It's Shark Week. And we're doing some Shark Week specials. Love Shark Week. Love it. Look at that guy there. And so if Sharkinator is back, the Shark Week specials, every class here that I'm doing in the next month, the Golden Gap course, the Trends course, the Wealth Manifestation course, and two months free in Stocks with Show Live Trading Room. This is a savings of almost 1200 bucks. The deadline for the special is Saturday. You want to sign up for everything? You get the whole shebang. Sharknado until Saturday at midnight. If you want to sign up for it, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is a great deal. Total special price is $36.99 and you save $11.98. Okay? So remember, you want to create the life that you want. You have to think about if you're doing things right now and taking the steps to actually create it. And if you are not, take a step back and look in the mirror and write in your journal. Talk to yourself. Call me. You have got to make some changes. The life that you want is not a stressed out, crazy person trading or someone that is fighting every month to pay your bills. You have to think about what you want in life and go out there and create it. Remember that money is energy. You have to be able to attract it into your life, and you have to be in the right space for that to happen. All right, thank you. Amy, do I have any questions here? A few minutes? We do. We have about four minutes for questions, and a couple have just come across the board, so we're opening the floor for questions. Please write them in your little chat box, but we'll start with this one. Linda was asking, because she trades options, she wanted to know if your strategy works with options. Linda, I actually have a couple people in my trading room that have done the class that are actually doing options. They day trade with me as well, but they have used this for options too. It's different because I'm not teaching you how to take the option trade. You would have to know how to do that, but you would use the 26-point rating system for this stock that's gapping, determine if it's going to work in the right direction, and then you would do an option in it. You'd have to know how to take that option, and actually that's something you could go to, to the guys right here. To John, you could go to do my class, learn how to take the directional bias position, to know if the stock's going to work in the right direction, and go to John and learn how to take an option. He's talking next. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, Joe is asking, like, how important is, like, a trade journal to be a part of his strategy? A trade journal or a trading plan? A trading plan is nothing more than your strategy, the trades that you're taking, how you're going to take the setup, how much money you're risking, and then how much money you want to make per week, per month, and year. Is it important? The answer is yes. Uh, are you going to make that probably the first day after the class? No. You're probably going to practice for about a week after the class, and then you're going to set realistic goals for yourself after the class, after that first week, and say, okay, I see th that I'm going to do this risk this much and make this much. And that trading plan or trading journal evolves. So you may have a set trading plan for the first three months of your period. Then you're doing well. You say, okay, I'm going to change a little. I'm going to up it. And then you change it, and you're risking a little bit more. You go from beginner to immediate to advanced. It is important. But I'm basically in the class. My class is basically a trading plan. You would track your trades, and you would determine your own risk and how much money you're risking, how much money you're probably in your account. But my actual tr class is a trading plan with the strategy and the trades. All you have to do is fit in the risk. All right, Linda just um, wrote back that she just loves your strategy, so that's good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, thought, I, just, I love sharing that with people. Oh, I thought I was going to say they love Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Uh, when, when is your course again? There are a few people I've been coming across asking about it. August 23rd and 24th. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can also email me 
at melissa at the stock .com. Here's my email here down here at the bottom. You can email me here if you want more information after the webinar today. All right. Well, one more quick question and then we have to get on our sure. way. Um, Lee is asking, what is your exit strategy on trades? I actually teach exit rules in the class. You are looking for stock to go to a target. You determine the targets before the open even happens. So I look at my targets before the open every single day before 930. I know my targets. Then when the trade sets up, you still have to watch it because obviously not everything goes to the target and some things go past the target. So as you're in the trade and you're watching for it to set up, you have everything written down. These are the targets, but you have exit rules that I teach in the class where you're watching something. You say, well, we better get out of half of this here where it's going to do a reversal. They're called reversal signs. And I teach them in the class. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, Melissa. Thank, Thank you very you. much for being here. Thanks, everyone. Remind us again just how to get a hold of you. Melissa at the stockswish.com. Right down here. Or you can give me a call. You can call me. I'll be around this afternoon mm -hmm. at 602-799-5754. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks. Melissa. Have a good day. You too. You did.